uh, Settle Down, Jarsol here, Jarsol TV, coming at you from the garage, that is right. Today's episode is going to be all about building this possum box. It's the same design for the brush tail and it's the same design for the ring tail. The only difference is the ring tail box is slightly smaller. Today we're going to be concentrating on the ring tail because I'm out of stock. I sell these, uh, all the link is in the description below, uh, Knox Wildlife Nesting Boxes. About 10 years ago, a lady by the name of Yvonne Cowling came to me and, uh, with a design and asked if I could build it. Yvonne's got a Order of Australia medal for her wildlife work. Um, she's been doing it for about 4 to 5 years and she's now retired. So this video I dedicate to Yvonne. The unique thing about these boxes is the baffle at the front or the veranda. Basically what this does is prevent birds from accessing the possum box. There's nothing like this out in the market. Um, this is the only purpose-built possum box there is. So if you want any, check out the link below, uh, Knox Wildlife Nesting Boxes, and uh, we're going to get into it. So the materials that we're using today is 12mm non-structural ply. The tools that you'll need is a circular saw, a uh, tape measure and pencil, a drill. Um, I use two, one for pre-drilling and one for screwing. Some clamps, obviously some screws, some liquid nails or glue. Um, and then we're going to finish it all off with a uh, belt sander, just take off all the rough edges. Now if you're in the market for a new saw blade, I strongly suggest that you check out Specialty Saws. Uh, I've had this blade for about three or four months now and it's still sharp, still going strong. Check out the link in the description below. So when you're cutting ply, make sure you always have a set of earmuffs and a good set of uh, goggles. And we're just going to get into it. Now that we've cut all the pieces, I'm cutting the sides on an angle um, and this angle will give it enough uh, fall so that the rain can drain away. Now, using a 10 mil drill bit, um, I'll be making some holes on the sides so that um, it can be affixed to the tree with some rope. When it comes to doing the entry hole, you don't need a pedestal drill like this. You can just use a normal uh, drill. However, this is what I'm using today. The brush tail requires a 127mm entry hole and the ring tail requires a 102mm entry hole. So I'll flip the switch and we'll drill the hole. Done. Alright, we're going to start with the bottom. Pick the best side.
entertainer. Well, let's call him what he is. There's the finished product. Alright, there's a few things you need to know about this possum box. The first is it doesn't require uh, drainage holes in the bottom. Uh, the possum won't go to the toilet where it goes to sleep. The second is it doesn't need any sticks or anything inside it. If the possum wants something inside it, um, the possum will take it in there. Thirdly, um, this is box has been designed so it's put in a tree and that's it. Uh, you don't need to attend to it, leave it alone. The more you disturb this box, the less likely chance you're going to have of attracting a possum. Um, it requires two coats of paint. I use low sheen external. Um, be sure it's non-toxic to animals. A good indicator is that it's um, on the label it will say safe for rainwater collection. Um, so give it a two, two good paints with that. I forgot to mention about this inside wall. It does not require any ladder, trellis or branch for the possum to get access or to exit from this box. They're quite agile and they can easily manoeuvre uh, this obstacle. Alright, I am done guys. It's too hot out here and I'm going inside where the aircon is. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. If I get a hundred of them, I will donate ten of these to my local wildlife shelter. Anyway, stay tuned for the next Jar Soul TV, and until next time, woo!